Yes, Lost Kingdom, Forgotten Isle. Oh, dude, this kind of actually looks like the new Mario and Luigi game. Dude, I'm so excited. Because I think you're, like, on an island. But you get, like, a boat. And it kind of makes you think of Dredge a little bit. Because I played a little bit of that. Uh, that'd be a fun game to, like, stream. Just a nice, chill... Chill game to play. Alright, Cappy. It's time for you to get stolen from a freaking gliding boy. I just wonder, whenever you lose Cappy... Like, you kind of miss him. Because it's like, oh, man, like... He does so much for me, so like without having him, I can't do all this stuff that's very useful. Oh yeah, it's that enemy. What do they do? Oh yeah, they just like lock onto you and just like... Oh wait, no, it's like when you throw Cappy at it, and it's like, I'll lock onto you and destroy you. Hold on, Cappy, I have important business here. There's a moon right here. Yeah. <laughs> Shine get. My voice cracked. You know, I thought that was going to stop whenever I turned into an adult, but, uh, nope. It's not just a teenager thing. It's mostly just, like, when you put pressure on your atoms or vocal cords or whatever. You got a moon! Especially, like, when your voice is, like, tired, like mine. So it's like you really are, like, straining your vocal cords, so it's, like, easier for it to crack. Alright, this is cool. So he's going to go right here, and I'm going to do... Oh, dang it. I didn't time it right. Yeah, take that, bird. Oh, I say gliding, boy. Well, I guess birds glide. Oh, yeah, the freaking wiggler things. They look kind of funny in this one, though. But they stretch like a freaking accordions. I love that sound so much. What's up there, guy? Yeah, this is what he does. And then he freaking... Ugh. Nice. You guys should just, like, jump around that. <laughs> Uh, I assume you get, like, health right there, but, uh, I don't need that. I just realized that sound effect. Hold on. Okay, it sounds similar to, um... I think it's Phantom Hourglass with the choo-choos. Oh, come on, bro. Or it might be Spirit Tracks with those weird enemies in the forest. There we go. Ooh, I need to be getting some coins because I need to get the outfit here. I really like the outfit here. In this kingdom, it's really cool. Jump and get some coinage. Ground pound and get some platforms. Get some coins while you're at it, too. <laughs> that just looks so funny. Wall jumping was freaking... Uh, what are those things called? Little flippers? Yeah, that's what they're called. Ooh, that made me think of Twilight Princess whenever you get the, um... The Zora outfit. And it's like legit flippers and stuff. I like this place as well. Yeah, this place is really cool. Yeah, the freaking aviator outfit. Gliding down, back on the island. Oh, the freaking slingshot right there. Ooh. Oh, oh, he almost died. Soaring over Forgotten Isle. Oh no, it's been forgotten. No. I'll never forget you. Hey, I wonder if that's where Mario and Luigi are in the new Mario game. <laughs> That'd be funny. Woohoo. Good old Cappy Cappy. Good old Cappy Cappy. No cap. Oh yeah, the currency is leaves. But yeah, I feel like the Mario and Luigi game is definitely going to feel like this kingdom. <laughs> I'm trying to get some coins. Because I want to get the outfit here. Alright, but I still have... I still got to explore this place. There's still some spots over here that I haven't got, gotten to. Oh, there's another moon over there too. That hurt. Woohoo! Alright, get back here. Yes. Ooh, coinage. Oh my god, it's got the little flower hat. That's funny. Can I go around? Ooh. Ooh, I can do this part. What the heck? Oh, it's a platform. I was like, what is that? Look at those pixels. Alright. I think I just need to go down, right? Oh, yes, a checkpoint. Oh. Checkpoint. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I thought that was cool. It's like the 3D uh, world has a power moon, and then you can go into 2D, and it's like in the same spot. I guess I'll do the 2D one first, because that one's actually easier. Oh, I say. Whoa, that was epic. Oh, that actually kind of looks creepy, 2D. <laughs> With the freaking goggles. Oh, come on, Mario. It is cool, though, that you keep the outfit on in 2D mode. Spin. 
Spin the moon. Oh, there we go. I wonder how difficult that was to code. <laughs> I don't know, it may, it may not have been difficult for Nintendo. They've been making games for years. Oh, that's where Captain Toad is. Or like near here. Man, it's so funny. It's like, you know, you could be doing this, right? And it's just as simple as, you know, you press Y, you move the control stick, the thing attached, attaches to the platform, you let go, and then it comes back, right? But if you try to code that, you you really like, you know, you, you get humbled immediately and you're like, oh, game dev isn't actually as easy as I thought it was. <laughs> that has happened multiple times. Like, oh, that, that'd be like, that'd be easy to do that. Like, I, I see how, like, you know, the character's doing this. That'd be very easy to code. Uh, nope. Especially if you have no coding background whatsoever. That's one of the things that um, I don't like about like game development is like how complex coding is. Where's Toad at? Is he on the other side of, of that? I don't know where Toad is. I want to see Toad. <gasps> yes. It's Toad, my boy. What's up? Hey, I'm just going to steal your life savings real quick. You probably took that from uh, Luigi or Luigi probably gave that a as a gift. Um, after, you know, completing Luigi's Mansion and everything. God, my voice. It's Captain Toad. Give me a power moon. Woo. The Captain Toad game is actually really good. I remember I played it. I think I actually beat it, and I was like, yo, this game's actually good. Oh, I got a heart. Get onto these little tree stubs that look like, uh, carrots. Oh, there's the power moon. Oh, that's someone from the, uh coin collecting that's right I was like yo what did I do to make a moon appear here <laughs> uh what boss is here I'm trying to remember is there any boss here or is it literally just like get moons and then leave which speaking of get moons and leave there's literally one right there let's get going let's get going oh yeah the ship got broke so it's like you patch it up but it like has like the world on it basically or that's what it looks like see you later lost kingdom that's a very quick kingdom oh, i didn't get the outfit no i want to go back and get the outfit i did not get any coins for this world oh wait i don't think you can the first time you get here oh yeah some coins oh <laughs> yeah they're like hats i think there's also like a lot more stuff here now that we have came back there we go oh yeah you can actually like throw your hat on these and uh it'll light up the lights i actually did that whenever i first played i lit up all of the lights thinking that you know i'd be like good old you know zelda puzzle stuff and you get a power moon but nope nope as far as i know none of the lights do anything for like power moons and stuff oh hat kingdom yes i love this place Makes me think of like Kingdom Hearts, uh, Tim Burton, Disney stuff. I think it's the music. I don't know who composed the song, but it, it sounds like Kingdom Hearts music. I know that the the woman who did Kingdom Hearts music also did music for the Mario and Luigi games, didn't she? Oh hey, it's a little hat boy. A little hat ghost. Oh my god, <laughs> birds <laughs> that are ghosts that have hats. Oh yeah, the freaking uh Flying Goomba boys. Now they won't like die, right? Like they'll go to the bottom and just like chill there. Oh, nope. I think they die. I think they die if I go down there. <laughs> I forget. Do they get tired or... No, they just have like a limited uh, height. You think so? Yeah. I think she did do some music for um, the Mario and Luigi games. Oh, yeah. Freaking fancy Mario up in here, man. This is such a cool outfit too because it's like black it looks really cool your boy gets a top hat look at this oh so flashy yeah all right let me go over there's over here by this boom box and just yeah dude a little dance party <laughs> yeah man <laughs> i still need to learn that dance <laughs> i remember uh me and it was recorded this years ago and I showed that to him, and he didn't know that that was a thing. I was like, I need to learn that dance. And he was like, oh my god, you do. 
but I have not done it yet. All right, yeah, this outfit's sick. I love this outfit. All right, let's go t back to the um. Ooh, let's go to Cascade Kingdom. Fancy, heck yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm taking a fancy outfit to a uh, what is that era called? I don't remember. Dinosaur era. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't think they had tuxedos back in this time. I try to get like at least the first set of outfits whenever I play this game. Oh yeah, the caveman outfit. It's freaking dry bones head. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> His hair is all messy. Ah, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I love that so much. It's so cool. See, this is why Nintendo games are so much better than other games. <laughs> but yeah, Nintendo would definitely know how to, you know, make really good outfits and stuff. 